Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Causey from Silver Bullet Mines. How are you today? Very excited and enthusiastic about Silver Bullet Mines. Nice to see you, Tracy. So not only are we excited about silver, we're excited about the fact that you're preparing to list. Is that correct? That is true, and we are excited. We have received conditional listing approvals. So now it's just pushing papers around. Peter, of course, you have a lot of people who follow you on Investor Intel, so we're all very interested in what you're up to. Can you please provide some compelling reasons why we should all be watching Silver Bullet Mines once you list? One of the reasons is we have a full treasury. We set out to raise $3 million. We raised six. That's an indicator of the strength of the deal. We have five former silver producers near Globe, Arizona. Globe is like Sudbury or Timmins. They are mining towns. We can have the first mine, the Buckeye, in production in Q4 this year, which means we are in the pre-production sweet spot. That'll kick out cash flow. It mitigates risk and allows us to then put the other mines back in operation. One of the most compelling items I heard about Silver Bullet Mines so far was from the founder, John Carter, who was telling me he is going to make this company the way exploration companies should be. He's going to turn it into a producer. Tell us a little bit more about the theme that is driving this team. One of the themes is, um, let me refer back to my old friend, Pat Sheridan. Pat's been gone a few years now. Uh, but Pat used to say, go get the money. If you know where the mineralization is, why are you coming to me for an equity investment? Go dig it up, go process it, make your own money. And that's what we're doing. We know where the silver is. You need silver for things like pens and watches and a snake-headed walking stick, which is coated in silver. The world needs silver. We know where it is. Our vein pinches and swells over about a two-mile stretch in some parts, it's seven feet wide. Go get the silver. And of course, I would be remiss not to bring up the Lone Ranger. There's a little Lone Ranger story. I want to make sure everybody remembers Silver Bullet after they've listened to this interview. Can you so tell far. us what that is? The second mine we're putting into production is called the McMorris. It's the source of the legend of the Lone Ranger bullets. Historically, what happened was the Apache saw the invaders. They smelted silver from ore taken at the Macmillan, made silver bullets and fired them at the invaders rolling across the plains. The author of the Lone Ranger stories heard this and inverted it to make the silver bullets the domain of the good guy that he left behind whenever he did a good deed. So the McMorris mine is the source of the legend of the Lone Ranger bullets. And just confirm whether or not I heard this correct on Investor Talk, I heard you say that you will not be going back to the market for money again. Is that correct? Our budget and our 43101 calls for a specific amount of money. That's why we set the minimum $3 million financing target. We raised six. We also have about 8 million warrants outstanding at 50 cents per. They're two-year warrants. And our KPI for success, our only key metric, is how many of those warrants get exercised. If the majority of those warrants get exercised, that means a lot of other good things have happened. We hit our production schedule, we're in free cash flow, exploration is a success. And that means we will never have to do another financing in this company. Well, Silver Bullet Mines, SBMI on the TSX Venture. Congratulations on taking this to market, Peter. It's a pleasure to speak with you as always. Huge team effort to get here, including you on the team. So thank you for all of your support. 